for two pounds. Oh. What is this? It's just a pound. Where's the rest of it? All right, you don't have to take it, but stop yelling at me. Day. Can I help you? Huh. Is your teacher here? Oh, afraid not. He's out today. Tell me. Anything I can do? <laughs> You're all wasting your time doing this. This is nothing but kid stuff. That's right. I said kid stuff. I can show you what real fighting is. Oh, so it's a match you're looking for. Wait for the teacher. He'll oblige. Now wait. What about you? Don't you fight? All the others? Or are you all a bunch of cowards? What? You'll apologize for that. Try and make me. I meant what I said. Right. If that's the way you want it.
How long? Look, let's rest a while. It's too hot to work now. Come on, sit down. Not yet. I'll wait a while. Xiao Ling's bringing my lunch. Ah, things are really developing between you two. Now she's bringing your lunch, eh? All right, I'll eat alone. Hey, now hang on. Wait a while, huh? We'll eat together. Anyway, I want to talk about the school. No, let's leave it. I'll be seeing you tonight at practice anyway. I'll leave you two alone to eat. See you. What's wrong? What's the matter? There's big trouble at the school. Some judo expert bust in there. He's beating up young Chu pretty badly. He's still there? Yeah, he sure is. Let's get down there right away. You find the teacher. Tell him we've gone on ahead. Right. Come on. I'm Lei Ming, and this is Ta Lung, another student. And who are you? Oh, another couple of milksops. Well, my name's Tiao Er. You may know it. I used to live here. Oh, yes, I've heard it. But why have you come in here making trouble? We've got no quarrel with you. Shut up, you. I come and go where I want, and I'm not answerable to you. Lei Ming, he's just looking for trouble. Don't try to argue. He needs a lesson, and I'll give it to him. The hole is. Teacher, stay here. Tower, it's been quite a long time. Yeah. Well, we kicked you out of town once for making trouble all the time. And it looks as if we're going to have to go through the whole thing again. I guess you've come back wanting revenge. Well, I'm the one you want, not poor harmless students. Teacher, please let me take him for you. I'm not scared of judo. Hmm. you. Now I think it's my turn. Good. enough. You'll hear from me again. Drop by any time.
I'll be back. I'm bringing some karate experts with me. They'll get you. you'd like to, we could come out here every Sunday afternoon and go fishing or something. Just once a week? Mm. That's not much. All you care about is boxing. I don't understand. What's so great about it? Now look, don't let your father hear that. After all, he spent his life teaching it. <laughs> he knows my opinions. You know, it does worry me, his boxing school. It's true. It does attract troublemakers. And one day, there'll be real trouble. Charlene, you worry too much. I agree, there's always going to be odd troublemakers coming along. But when all's said and done, it's a competitive sport. But we've always been able to handle them. Have you? And what about that fellow Tower? He was more than a match for all of you. Only my father could take him. And do you remember still what he said to you all when he was leaving? He was bringing in karate men. Mm. Karate men. Then sit down, sit down. Now then, a little lecture. I'll keep it short. About the art of Chinese boxing and what it means. Firstly, it's an extremely ancient art. It's been known for at least 3,000 years now and probably much longer. And it's been developing all the time too. It's not just a sport, it's more. To some, it's a way of life for them. To others, it's simply an effective method of self-defense. To me, it's a combination of all of these things. And also, a very practical philosophy, too. I don't expect that any of you will see this just yet. But you will, if you stay around long enough with it. Right now, you can only see part of it. Still, in good time, you will see what I mean. Boxing disciplines the body. That much you know. But it has a similar discipline on the mind, too. And a man without discipline has no place in society. So then, this is the main purpose of boxing. It's not for fighting, but to develop good citizens, men of firm discipline, men who can contribute to our society, who can help our society to develop in an orderly way, to fight for that if they must. Well, that's all I have to say now. I'm afraid I haven't put it very well, but I hope you've grasped what I've been saying. Sir. Sir. Now then, is there any questions? I'd like to hear them. What is it? Teacher, do you remember that fellow Tower? Well, before he left, he said he was coming back with some karate experts. Tell me, what is karate? Oh, karate, huh? Well, karate was originally developed from Chinese boxing many years ago in the Tang Dynasty. Then, with the spread of Chinese culture to Japan, it developed there in another way. But it's still referred to as Tang Boxing by some. The principles are different, though, and so is the spirit. 
Karate is aggressive, and basically it's very hostile. It's directed only to one end, and that is to kill, or if not to kill, then to cripple. You see, a karate expert's hands are fantastically strong. He can chop through wood, or even crush up rocks with his bare hands. But it's crude, and certainly not a sport. Teacher, could a boxer beat a karate expert, assuming he had the right training? Uh, yes. If he had great agility. And also, his hands, too, would have to be like iron. Are there any more questions? In that case, the class is finished today. Flaming? Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? What are you thinking about? Oh, I was thinking over what the teacher just said about karate. And I thought, what if Tower keeps his word and turns up here again with some karate experts? What would we do then? Ah, oh, forget it. The teacher would fix them. Don't you worry. Anyway, I got pay today. Let's go get some food and some wine, too. Come on. Teacher? Now let's have a drink, shall we? No, thank you. I've had enough, thanks. But you and Lei Ming go ahead, huh? Right. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, then. See who can take the most. I know who that is, and it's not you. You see, I can usually walk home, but when you get home, your knees are covered with blisters. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you've had enough now. You drink far too much. Really, no one would marry a drunk like you. <laughs> and who wants to marry? I like being single. Sure, I know there's some drawbacks. I like having to find my own lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you cut that out. Lei Ming asked me to. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. I mean, Da Lung is hardly a stranger. And Ming, why, you two grew up together. He's like one of the family. I really must get around to fixing a date for you two soon. Maybe sometime fairly early on in the new year. I mean, when all's said and done, nobody enjoys marriage like young people. Well, what are you waiting for? To your father-in-law. Let's drink to that. Here, give me your cup. Come on. Teacher. I drink to you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Sir, please follow me, will you? This way. Oh, 
over here, sir. Uh, please. Uh, All right. Uh, now then, sir, what can I get you? These are very special guests of mine from Japan. Oh. I want the very best food that you've got. Of course, sir. But if I'm not satisfied with it, I'm going to tear this place apart. <laughs> Hurry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And now then, the old man goes to the school in the afternoon. So in that case, the best time will be in the evening. We'll have some food. Then you can rest up during the afternoon. And then we'll go up there. His men aren't much good. They won't give you any trouble. But the old man's pretty good, knows quite a few tricks. So watch him and don't get careless. <coughs> hey, that's good. That's good. Uh, but save it. You may need all your strength tonight. We must win. There's an awful lot depends on it. And I've been waiting a long time. We'll win, but what happens then? I'll tell you. If we wipe that lot out, then we can run this town. And what's so great about that? I've been running my own city section back in Okinawa for more than 20 years now. Ah, now listen. I've got the whole thing worked out. You see, I'll run the gambling. I'm pretty good at that. Done it before. And you fellas could open up a karate school here. You Chinese have a famous old saying, I believe. First and foremost comes business, and then friendship. So what's the score? Friend, what's our share? Don't worry. If we win, and we take over the town, we'll slice it in two. Half and half. All right, a deal? Right. Now, let's drink to our success. Right, let's drink to that. Yeah, here's to us. Chen Li! Chen Li! Why aren't you working? Chen Li, I was just looking for the teacher. But you'll do. You can tell him. What's wrong? Just now, in our place, some strangers came in and they ordered a meal in there. I overheard them. They said they're going to make big trouble for the teacher. You should see them. They all look like walking corpses. Oh? And how many are there? Well, there's four of them. One's Chinese and the other's Japanese. Right, I'll go there with you. We'll take a look at them. Right. one of them. Fancy meeting you here. What a pleasant surprise. <laughs> What's wrong? Say something, or I'll be offended. Oh, so you're deliberately trying to insult me, are you, eh? <laughs> now then, get down on your knees and apologize. <laughs> Apologize. I'll spit in your face, and I'll give you all the trouble you want. Do you hear me? <laughs> Good. Well, you can be the first one to taste karate, and your teacher comes next. Hmm. You find the teacher can handle any rubbish that you care to send him. And you don't scare me one bit. Thank you. 
good. Let's go over that one again now. Get those two men. Bring them back. We'll find out who did this. Sir. There's not eight. We're here. It's you. You murdering swine, you. And why did you have to kill that boy? He never did you any harm in his whole life. <laughs> it was just his bad luck to be the first. He insulted my Japanese friends and then wouldn't apologize. If you like, you can take it up with them. You won't get away with this. There's some law in this town. Your pet Japanese killers are going to pay for this. I promise you that. But after they've answered to me, which of you did it? Step forward. Well, my man here did it. Tell you what, we'll fight your students first. As for you, I'll take you last. As you like. But I'll tell you this. I'll make you pay. I'll limb, sir. Let me. Ishara, keep back. Right.
Six. House wins, huh? Look at it. Looks good, huh? Full every day, too. Give me three months, and we'll all be rich men. I promise you that. We'll have more money than we can handle. <laughs> Ming, you're awake. Yeah. Thank 
thank God you've come to. I was scared, worried, sick. Six days, you've just been lying there. Try and drink this. Darling, I'm grateful for what you've done. I'll repay you, I promise you. Don't be silly. You owe me nothing. Just get well again. Now rest a while. Yeah. Charlie, your father. Did he get hurt at all? He's dead. Let's go fight them. No, I won't let you go. Oh, please. Yes, I must wait. All right, but tell my friends to come here. We'll work out something between us. They're either dead or they've left. You're the only one here now, and you're lucky. If they'd known you were here, they'd have come and finished you off, too. Well, they're all dead. All my friends go. You see, that's why you must hide until you're stronger. Promise me that. Any more? Any more? All right, open! Oh! 
Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ben. Any more vets over here? Any more? You two are from the casino. Something wrong? You know damn well what's wrong. Huh? What do you mean? You pulled some trick with those dice. And as soon as you won, you got out quick. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to say that I cheated? Hmm. Look, you watch what you're saying. Just you wait. I'll see your boss tomorrow about this. <laughs> you'll see my boss all right. But you'll be seeing him tonight. You're coming with us. No. Shut your mouth, or we'll shut it for you. Come on. Hey, boss. Hmm? What is it? Oh. Hmm? Mm. Come on in. Please, the boss. Good day. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Ah Chun. I'm the wife of Ling Hong. Oh. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Ling. <laughs> All right, then. Is there any way that I can help you? My husband didn't come home. I waited all night. Then I went to your casino this morning because I knew that he'd gone there. And your men told me you'd locked him up. <laughs> yes, that's right. But do you know why I did it? I'll tell you why. He was seen using crooked dice in my place last night. What? Crooked dice? No, he wouldn't do that. Please believe me and let him go now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, no problem. You can see that I'm not a bad sort of fella, and you can rely on me to do everything that I can, right? <laughs> there, 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 there. Now, let's have a drink before you go, shall we, huh? No, thank you. I never drink, thank you. And if you don't want to, I won't force you, but you stay and chat a while. No, please, let us go home now. Huh? huh? Well, you can go home, but not yet, though. changes his mind. Huh. Yes, yes, sure, sure. You. You're back early. I 
No, but something happened in town. What happened? It's Ling Hung and his young wife. They committed suicide. What? But why should they kill themselves? What happened? They say Ling Hung won a lot of money at gambling. They accused him of cheating, so they locked him up. And then his wife went to see Tao er to ask him to let her husband go. But he raped her, so she killed herself. I see. And Ling Hung? When he found out what happened, then he hanged himself too. Lei Ming, what are you thinking? It's no use. We've got to get rid of those thugs, no matter what it costs. There's been no peace in this place since they arrived here. It used to be so quiet here. And now, look at the town. Nobody's safe anymore. And the casino's bleeding them all dry. And now, it seems even women aren't safe. I tell you, one of these days I'll get them. I'll wipe the lot out. But how? What could you do by yourself? You know what those karate men can do. Can a boxer beat a karate expert? Assuming he has the right training. Yes. With the correct training, he could win. But he'd need great agility and hands of iron. Of course. The teacher was right. How could I forget that? What do you mean? There is a way I can beat karate. Oh, really? There is. And tomorrow I start training. Can I help you? I need 200 pounds of iron pellets. And also a big metal cauldron to put the pellets in. And some iron rods, too. Right. I'll see to that.
There you are. And that's your share for last month. Please check it out. And now then, as things are well under control here, I'm thinking of expanding. Do the same thing in some other town. Uh, what do you think? You handle the business. It's up to you. So whatever you think is best. The gambling side's no problem. But still, there may be trouble, like we had here. Might be another boxing school. We'd have to get rid of them first. Huh. That's no problem. I'll ride back to Japan, import some more men here. If you have money, nothing is difficult. Money we can get. You just get the men. I'll look around, work out a plan. Uh, I can call in a few of our debts. I'll send the men round town. That'll get us some cash. Old man, you got the money ready for us? Your debt? Yeah, yeah. Uh, here we are. What's this? Where's the rest of it? Hey, the rest? I borrowed 200. So with $40 interest, the total should come to 240. Isn't that right, Dan? It's not. Because according to our books here, you owe the boss a total of $500 already. So let's have it, huh? I don't know anything like that. There's been a mistake. I can see we're going to have to do this the hard way. Right. Now that was stupid. And you're gonna regret it. We're gonna teach you to mind your own business. Right? Come on!
Now then, I'd like you to meet two samurai swordsmen just in from Japan. Lamura, Kume. Mm. That's great. I'm glad. They've come just at the right time. We could use some help in getting rid of that troublemaker. That fire last night. I'm pretty sure that was his work. Uh, your men are completely useless. They haven't even found out for us what that fellow looks like yet. I know. All we know is that he's pretty tall and always wears a mask and that he's damn good too. But still, one of these days he's going to have to come out into the open. And then we'll get him. One chance. That's all we need. <laughs> oh, I see. You intend to take him yourself, do you? Well, I think we can leave him to these fellows here. How's that? Fantastic. Well, that's that. The next time that fellow shows up, he'll be dead. There's someone to see you. Well, all right, tell him to come in here. That fellow's in the casino. What's that? In the casino? What's wrong? What's all the excitement then? You get back there. Right. Well, it's him. Our friend, the troublemaker. Apparently, he's down there in the casino. So now what do we do? Ah. I guess he must be tired of living. What will you do? My men can probably manage to pin him down at the casino for a little while yet. But still, we ought to get down there fast. Real fast. You too. Go down there with him. Right. Right. All right. All bets down. Table's about to close. All bets down. Our last bets, please.
Sorry. Afraid we're going to have to close the place. There's some private business we have to attend to now. Oh, okay. All right. You may as well come quietly or you won't get out of here alive. We've got the place surrounded. All right, you men, get him! Right. Come on. Now you tell those Japanese. I'll meet them by the bridge up on the hill tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. I will. Yes. I don't know who you are, friend, but you've been making too much trouble, though you won't make any more. So you don't know me? <laughs> you know me now? Huh? So it's you. I thought we'd killed you. Well, we'll certainly do that today, right?
What you thinking? Oh, nothing much. I was just thinking how long it seems since the day that all my friends were murdered. Whenever you go out, I always worry myself sick about you. And I always think to myself, is he going to come back safe this time? Now look, don't worry so much. I can take care of myself. But still. But still what? Go on. But still, this time's different. They're so vicious, those men. So cruel. Listen, I know that, but I'm ready for them. Anyway, I can't let them escape. They must die. I know. But I'm still so afraid for you. So afraid. And then what if something awful should happen to you? What would I do? Yes, I thought about that too. Although, I'm pretty sure I'll win. I've trained every second I've had. Just need a little luck on my side. But just in case. What do you mean, in case? Well, everybody's luck runs out sometime. So if I'm not back by nightfall, well... Then get out fast. Oh, me! It's been more than a year, and he's picked up quite a few tricks in the meantime. Those two samurai swordsmen of yours never had a chance. What are you trying to say? That he's so good, we won't be able to handle him? Huh? No, 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 not at all. Just wanted to make sure that you didn't underrate him. Well, I don't. Uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit worried because the two of us have got an awful lot to lose right now. And things were going so well. Well, don't worry. We'll handle him. 
No problem. I know, I know. I guess I do worry too much. Why, of course, with the three of you there, nothing possibly could go wrong. <laughs> but still, there's no reason we shouldn't cover our bets. Well, I just got hold of an idea now. A little surprise for our friend. Well, what is it? You've been lucky so far. But now your luck has run out, because this is where you die. Let's cut the top. Come on. <clears throat> Take him.